Ahoy Needies, and welcome back to another episode of FPNN. Today is Wednesday, March 26th, and the 140th day of school. I'm Kirsten. And I'm Isabella. Now to Stevie for the pledges. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I can be responsible, respectful, and resourceful with everything I do and say today. Thanks, Stevie. That was great. Now it's time for Wacky Wednesday Trivia. The number to call on your screen is 50612. Today we'll be answering caller number one. The question is, what is the closest U.S. state to Africa? The number to call on your screen is 50612. We will be answering caller number one. The question is, what is the closest U.S. state to Africa? Whose class is this? This is Carol. Who's speaking? Karen. Can't. Do you have the correct answer? Florida. Sorry. The correct answer is Maine. Now to. Now to catch up for today's menu. Today we'll be having crunchy beef tacos with yellow rice, cheese enchilada, enchiladas, vegetarian taco salad, steamed corn, santa uh, filet black beans, garden salad, peach cups, apple slices, and assorted fruit juice. Arg! Amazing job, Sia. Now for some events. The yearbooks are on sale for $20 only. You can still order your yearbook online or fill out the flyer. Save the date. Our Fruitville PTO proudly presents the first annual Guys, Gals, and Garden Dance. This is going to be held on March, uh, on Friday, March 29th at 6 to 8 p.m. in the cafeteria. Ticket price includes food, drinks, photos, and dancing with the DJ. A single ticket is $10 per person, but you can get a family pack for $30. Try to pre-order your tickets because the price goes up at the door. We hope to see you all there. In the third quarter of our Fruitville Pirates passed 6,715 AR tests. Keep it up. Keep up the good work, Pirates. Thanks, Isabella. Now to the Kindness Crew and Deputy Ryan for some hashtag kindness and safety tips. Good morning, Fruitville Pirates. It's just me on the Kindness Crew this morning, and it is a little bit different today. I do not have any ER cards today, and there may be a couple times in the next few weeks that you don't see me on the news because, as I want to talk about today, testing is beginning next week. So for our third, fourth, and fifth grade Pirates, there will be FSA testing coming up next week, some makeups the week after that, and then testing will resume again in May. So we're going to start thinking, although we always think about kindness, we continue our kindness, we're also going to start thinking about some testing tips and continuing our monthly attribute of staying calm. We talked a lot about our bubble breathing the other time on the news. So I want to encourage my pirates who are taking the FSA to take nice deep breath, stay calm, stay focused. You can do the best, your very best on the FSA. And that actually brings me to a sneak preview since you won't see me next week of April's civility squad trait. Next month, we're going to be talking about thinking positive and staying positive all through April when that testing is going on. So Pirates, I want you to practice thinking positive, even if you're not in a grade that's taking the FSA test. You can practice that by thinking good, positive thoughts about yourself all day long, and I promise you'll see that your attitude and the way that you feel changes. So think about something positive that you can focus on, like, I can do my best. I will get through this test. Positive thinking. It works for staff and teachers, too. 
So do your very best. Be on time at school every day for that test. And I want everyone to remember to eat a good breakfast. We'll be talking about that reminder a lot on the news. So we will be getting into testing mode, but we're not there yet. So for now, just take a deep breath and relax. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and I'm going to pass it on to Officer Brian. Good morning, everybody. Today's safety tip is going to be part two of the internet safety. First off, please remember that when you're on the school computers, you're there to do schoolwork and nothing else. So when you're at home, please don't go into chat rooms unless your parents know about it. Don't post any pictures of yourself unless, again, your parents know. Don't download or install anything on your computer without your parents' permission. And if you have any questions about something that you read, something that you saw, something that you don't understand, please talk to your parents or another adult about it so they can help you with that. And please remember, whatever you post on the internet, somebody can always find it. That includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. So please, if you're gonna post something, Please be very thoughtful and kind before you post it. Lastly, please remember that there are some people on the internet that really don't have good intentions, but if you use good safety rules and you talk to your parents, your internet experience can be a very positive one. Have a great day. Think safe. Be safe, everyone. Thanks, Kindness Crew and Deputy Brian. And thank you for watching another amazing episode of FPNN. I'm Kirsten. And I'm Isabella. We can't have a wacky Wednesday. See you tomorrow.